Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna go over some of the basic ways to navigate inside of Workflowy. The first thing you need to know is how to expand and collapse bullets. So bullets in Workflowy can be nested under each other. And you can tell we've got some items that are nested right here because they're on a second level, they've been indented. And to collapse them, we can click on the little triangle on the left-hand side to collapse them, to hide them inside that bullet that they're nested under. If we click it again, we expand it and we show the content. You can tell that a bullet has items nested inside of it because it's got a gray ring around the bullet like this one here and also you'll get the the triangle on the left hand side which you can click so that's how we expand and collapse items next if we click on any bullet we're basically opening it up as its own document so any bullet inside workflow can be its own document we can just click on this one for example you'll notice how the font gets bigger that lets us know we're inside or we're focusing in or zooming in on this bullet and this is the content inside uh, let's go ahead and zoom in on this one here just by clicking on the bullet. And you'll notice that as I do this, we're creating some breadcrumbs up here in the menu bar. So we're inside right now the bullet called Some Details. You can see that right here, which is inside of the bullet called Here's an Important Thing, which is inside of our home, uh, home base or home bullet. So an easy way to navigate is to simply click on uh, the bullet that you want to uh, move to inside of the breadcrumbs. So if we want to zoom back one level, we could just simply click on the bullet that is uh, containing this one here. So that's how we zoom out one level. Or if we ever just want to go home, we can click on the home icon. Now there are some keyboard shortcuts to zoom in and out, so we don't have to just click on the uh, bullets or, or use the breadcrumbs if we don't want to. We can simply uh, hit Alt less than or Alt greater than on Windows, or that's Command less than, or command greater than on Mac. And if you'll notice, they look kind of like little arrows. So the last than looks like an arrow pointing to the left. Greater than symbol looks like an arrow pointing to the right. So if you think of uh, going to the left is zooming out and going to the right is zooming in, that'll help you uh, remember the keyboard shortcut. So for example, let me just go ahead and, and zoom in on this here. All right, we can zoom in or zoom out. Just move the cursor where you want to zoom in or zoom out and press the keyboard shortcut. Um, so we've got zooming in by clicking zooming in with the keyboard shortcut, um, and also the breadcrumbs in the menu bar. Next, we can use the sidebar as well. To open it up, we click on the hamburger menu in the menu bar, right here. So what this is, is a representation of our entire workflow document. You can see that we've got the exact same content here. Here's an important thing, this is this, it's this bullet right here. Um, we can expand and collapse the bullets just like in our workflow document. The difference is that we can click uh, on the names of the bullets to zoom into those. So we're on the right hand side, we have to click on the bullets or use the keyboard shortcuts. Uh, on the In the sidebar, we simply click on the bullets name to zoom into it. So that's another way to navigate around. So we'll go ahead and, and collapse that now. Um, next, what we want to do is star some pages. So let's say that um, I want to get to this bullet right here that says more stuff from anywhere in workflow. One way to do that is to star it. So I click on the star icon in the menu bar right here. And what that'll do is add it to the sidebar. So I'll go ahead and open it here. And I've got this new section. I'll collapse this home one right here. We've got this new section called starred. And that's basically where all our starred items are gonna go. So, you know, let's say that we're over here, we're working over here. We wanna get to, to our more stuff bullet. We could just click it right here in the sidebar and that just lets us jump right to that. So you can add items that you frequently access right here by starring them, and then you can just click them here in the uh, in the sidebar. Now, another thing we can do is, uh, let me go ahead and quickly add another, let me star another item so we can show you this example. Another thing we can do is use a keyboard shortcut that's um, Control K on Windows or Command K on Mac. And what that does is open up this window that shows us all our starred items. We can just use the arrows to select one and then press enter to jump to it. So this is another way to navigate without having to uh, use the mouse. If you wanted to use keyboard shortcuts, this is a really good way to do that. Another thing to know is that if you just start typing, you're also going to do a search. So for example, here I just typed in here and started a search. So even though this, this bullet here is not uh, starred, uh, it's obviously going to find it because we're just performing a search and then I can hit enter and navigate to that as well. So even though it's not starred, I can also jump to that, uh, to that document. So we've got a keyboard shortcut for going home. Like I said, you can click on the icon right here in the menu bar, or we can hit control apostrophe on windows 
or command apostrophe on Mac. And that takes this home as well. So that's another way to, to do that. Uh, and those are basically the main ways that we have to navigate around workflow. To see keyboard shortcuts for the things we covered in this video, plus a bunch of other stuff, be sure to hit control question mark on Windows or command question mark on Mac.